decisions that Rishi Sunak's going to have to make is who's in and who is out of his new cabinet. Yeah, that's right. And we can expect them to move pretty quickly on that because of the scale of the economic crisis that they're facing. And let's just start with that most important position. Jeremy Hunt has been in as Chancellor, has been doing some very hard work up to October the 31st, and we fully expect him to remain in place. In fact, sources tell me that Rishi Sunak had a long conversation with him during this process, as he did with other candidates, and spoke about that really important crunch day next Monday, which we expect to go ahead. Now, one of his key allies, Mel Stride, is chair of the Treasury Select Committee. Perhaps he would have fancied himself as Chancellor. He's unlikely to get that now, so we would expect him to have another important economic role, perhaps Chief Secretary to the Treasury, although some suggesting he could also be Chief Whip. There are some other key allies on his side who we might expect in senior positions, like Oliver Dowden, Dominic Raab, Mark Harper. One of the newer MPs I would look out for is Laura Trott. I've noticed that she's done a lot with Rishi Sunak this summer. But look, as Romilly said, he has promised that he is going to reach out across the party. Now, that means reaching out across political wings. This morning, Marc Francois from the European Research Group of Ardent Brexiteers, very clear that Rishi Sunak had said that his side of the party would be represented. But it also means reaching out across the supporting lines, if you like. Liz Truss was criticised for only putting her own supporters and then the other leadership candidates in place. Rishi Sunak expects to go further than that. So, for example, yes, you'd have Penny Morden, but also perhaps Andrea Leadsman and other key allies Big question, is he going to offer Boris Johnson a job? We don't have the answer to that yet. OK, Anoush Krastana at Westminster for the moment. Thank you. Now, Rishi Sunak's journey from being a new and unknown MP to getting the keys to number 10 